In this section, we're going to start looking at polygons. A polygon is any two-dimensional shape formed by straight line segments. In this table here, you have the different names of polygons, which is based on the number of sides. This bottom table, you have different characteristics. Your polygon can be concave, convex. Concave means if you pick any two non-consecutive vertices, if you connect them, a line will form on outside of the interior or on the exterior of the polygon. Convex, you can pick any two non-consecutive vertices, and when you connect them, those line segments will always be in the interior, or they connect, well, this one, this is just convex because it cannot, um, you can't have a line that goes outside. Regular polygons, all the sides are congruent, all the angles are congruent. Irregular, convex, or concave polygons, sides are not congruent. So this would be an irregular convex, irregular convex. This would be an irregular concave because we can connect this vertice to that vertice and it will be outside. So I recommend that you learn the names of the polygons and recognize whether it's concave, convex, regular, or irregular. So the first theorem we're going to look at is the interior sum theorem. And it's very simple. You can divide any polygon into triangles by connecting their non-consecutive vertices. And we already know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. So what we will find is if we connect the non-consecutive vertices from the same vertex. So I'm going to start here and I can go to this and this. These are my non-consecutive vertices from here. Notice I have one, two, three triangles. I have five sides because it's a pentagon and if I count up the triangles I get three. And this is going to be true no matter what side polygon you have other than of course your triangle. Okay? So here we have but this this formula still works for this. We have n equals three, n minus two equals one. So the sum of the angles of a triangle is simply 180 degrees. Moving over here, we have five sides that creates three triangles. So 180 times 3 is going to be 540 degrees. So any pentagon, if you add up all the angles, it's going to be 540 degrees. So now, in these examples, we want to find the value for x. The first thing I'm going to do is count up my sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have n equals 5. So n minus 2 equals 3. So the sum of all the angles is going to be 540 degrees. Why do I want to know all the sum of the angles? Because I'm going to use the old part plus part equals whole. And I have one, two, three, four, five parts. Okay? So I have the angle that we're looking for, plus 122, plus 100. This box indicates that that's a right angle, plus 90, plus 144, has to equal 540. We add all of these up and then subtract it from 540 and we get x equals 84. Okay? Same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we know it's going to add up to 540. So we just pick a vertex to start at. I'm going to start up here. 3x minus 5 plus x plus 10 plus 4x plus 8 plus 12x. I'm going to move over to this side of my paper. 6x plus 7. That's going to equal 540. When we combine our like terms, we get uh, 26x plus 20 equals 540. 
so 26x equals 520, which means x equals 20. Okay? Now, when we're looking at a regular polygon, again, a regular polygon has congruent sides, congruent angles, we have this formula here. We find the total sum and then we divide it by the number of sides. So again, I count up the sides, one, two, three, four, five. We already know that for a five-sided figure that it is 540. We divide that by five and each angle is 108 degrees. So that's the interior. Now, we also have a formula for the exterior. And regardless of the number of sides, the exterior angles are going to add up to 360. The best way to visualize this is if I start to increase the number of sides of this polygon, it's eventually going to have so many sides that it's going to form a circle. And we know that the measure of a circle is 360. So for this one here, it would just be the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, 4, 5, let me swing around here, 6 equals 360. It doesn't matter. I can have a quadrilateral, I can have a dodecagon, I can have a 20-sided, an icosahedron. It doesn't matter. You add up all the exterior angles and it's going to be 360. So let's look at example 5. We want to find the measure of x. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Still going to add up to 360. So I'm going to start over here and go clockwise. 60 plus 64 plus 36 plus 48, plus x, plus x, that has to equal 360. Combine all your like terms. In this case, it will be the constants. 208 plus, we have x plus x, 2x equals 360. Subtract 208 from both sides. We get 2x equals 152. So x equals 76 degrees. Moving over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice I have a box here. This is a right angle. It's also supplementary to this one. So this is also a right angle. And as we know, all right angles equal 90 degrees. So for this problem, we have 90 plus 60 plus x plus 46, plus 73, equals 360. Again, combine like terms. Start with the constants, 269. We have only 1x one equals 360. So when I subtract 300, uh, 269 from 360, we get x equals 91 degrees. Now, if we want to find the measure of an exterior angle of a regular polygon, again, a regular polygon, congruent sides, congruent angles, we're just going to take 360 and divide it by the number of sides. So I'm going to count the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this case, n equals 9. I'm going to take 360, divide it by 9, and I get 40 degrees. So each one of these exterior angles is 40 degrees.